So there's a new app on the App Store called Swift Key Keyboard that advertises that you're able to swipe when you type. So let's open it up and I'll show you how to swipe when you type. So here we have the little infographic that tells you. And once that's done, you can sit up here and set up the cloud using Facebook or Google+. And I'll sign in right now for that. And there we go. And this teaches you what you need to do to set up SwiftKey. So what you do is you go to Settings, General, Keyboard, Keyboards, and you see I have SwiftKey already added, but it will be right underneath English or whatever your language is, right above the other iPhone keyboards uh, under third-party keyboards. So you do the, you click it and you allow full access. This will give you full access to the things that you type so you need to be careful however if you do trust it you don't type much sensitive data SwiftKey says uh, it does your what's it called it keeps your privacy it always wants to keep your privacy and that's what it advertises now if you want to trust that go ahead so you can set up your keyboard settings and I have the dark theme set up you can also do a light theme if you'd like but I do dark I prefer a darker theme Next we have the advanced settings, which is just basically iPhone double tap for space, auto capitalize that you always get. And here you go to other ways to type and you have SwiftKey Flow turned on. So let's test it out to see if it works. I'm gonna add up a new note. Hi, my uh hi. and uh what you do is you set up SwiftKey. Hi my name is and you see the swipe works. So that's how essentially you set up your uh, swipe keyboard. Obviously it doesn't work on emojis. It's just on this keyboard alone. And you have the predictive type at the top. And uh, there is your most used uh, you know, punctuation points. So that's how you set up SwiftKey to work with uh, iOS 8.